Hey guys! I'm here today with my April wrap up. I actually only finished one book this month, but I'm part way through several, so let's get started, shall we? So I'm gonna start with a book that I actually finished, and that is Jerusalem by Jess and Butterworth. I read this for class because I'm taking this module on uh, contemporary British writing. I didn't really like it that much, mostly because I didn't feel that there was that much plot to it. Like, they were just sitting in a forest and having a party and someone was about to be evicted and someone else was moving to New Zealand and nothing really happened in it. So I rated this up 2 out of 5 stars. On to the books that I'm currently reading. The first one is American Gods by Neil Gaiman. I think I might have mentioned this in some other video, but I started it because I want to watch the TV series that has just been released on Amazon. I'm about 140 pages into this, uh, so I'm on chapter 6. I'm really liking it so far. It's just that I haven't really gotten around to finishing it because it's super long and I haven't really had the time. But anyway, I'm super excited for the show and I'm super excited to finish this. Next up is Strange the Dreamer by Elaine Taylor. This was one of my most anticipated books of this year because I read the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy uh, a couple of years ago and loved it. So I got this as soon as it was released. And I also began reading it uh, like immediately, even though I was already halfway through several other books. I've only read like 150 pages so far, but I'm really liking this one as well. <laughs> it might take a while before I finish this one too because of school and stuff, but I'm really liking this so far. The last book I want to talk about is London Fields by Martin Amis. It's another one of those books that I started for my contemporary British writing course. This was supposed to have been finished for the class last week, but I didn't get around to that, <laughs> so this is also on my currently reading pile. I don't really have much of an opinion on it. I found it pretty like difficult because it's very postmodern in a sense. It's like a reversed murder mystery somehow, and it's about a writer who's had writer's block for 20 years and then he sort of stumbles upon this murder mystery. It's a bit weird, I just find it a bit difficult. So that was everything I had to talk about today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!